Hello friends and welcome to another episode of the Urban Home Studying channel in the Living Small series. If today is your first time visiting with us, we want to extend to you a very warm welcome and invite you to view any of our over 410 videos that we have arranged for your convenience in playlists as we are very confident you will find something both enjoyable and entertaining and educational. I always do that. If you have been here before but you have not subscribed, what are you waiting for? Do subscribe. If today is your birthday, want to wish you a very happy birthday. For those of you that have been following us for a while, you might have uh, seen an episode we posted, what, a couple of weeks ago or something? Uh, on how we improved our apartment uh, fireplace look and we decided to kick it up a notch. Very nice looking lows. No? So we're at Lowe's and we discover an area that has a uh, live edge wood that is a good candidate for a couple of projects we are considering. And I've not seen this before in any other Lowe's or in a Home Depot. And I think this is extremely interesting and can allow you very creative processes. So we went and bought a live edge board. And we are going to use that board as our mantle for this fireplace. And I'm going to put a video up here if you want to watch our original video on how to make a very inexpensive and really good looking um, small mantle for your small uh, space so you can watch that and then come back to this video and see how i think this is uh, fairly simple now because we do not because we do not have our soap we had to go and buy uh, wood brackets. You can make wood brackets if you have a shop like the one we have in Kansas. But for this project, we just bought wood brackets and they were not very expensive. Six, eight dollars, something like that, right? Yeah. So, I'm making a mess. Yes, you are. So this is going to be our bracket. And we are going to show you the process of how we did it and we're going to show you the before to the final project. All right, we found the center of our fireplace and we made a small mark there. And then the distance from the center, from the frame to the mantle is really a matter of uh, what you like. Uh, I don't, we don't think it will look very good very close to the fireplace, right? Mm -hmm. So we thought somewhere around here will be a decent place. So we're going to put the mantle temporarily. We need to come a little this way. 
We're going to put the mantle temporarily here. You have the... Sorry for the shaky camera work. Okay. Uh, the bubble's that way a little bit. So. No, that's about as good as we can make it. Okay. How close are you to the edge over there? Are you right at the edge? I feel like I am on this No, side. but for our purposes, it makes no difference as long as we are in those two lines. All right. Make sure it's pressed up against the wall. Okay. I think we passed that line. And we're going to try and use this line as our uh, mark for when we want the bottom of the uh, mantle to be. A little bit of difficulty we have with this specific arrangement is that the, the two um, forgot what they're called. Brackets. The two brackets use keyholes to be attached in the back and uh, we hope that they are identical and we'll try to find the easiest way to attach them to the wall okay okay don't you want to put both screws yes i didn't know if you had paused or, yeah. or what we're doing let's move forward so we're putting both of the screws in where they're going to be seated in the uh, keyhole openings And the plan is to use those to align with the mark on the wall to help us know where to actually put the, the screws into the wall. So aligning the top of the bracket to that mark on the wall. Also with our point that we aligned there. And pressing in. So very small but holes. Very small, but you can see where they've marked the wall, so that's going to be where we're going to put the screws into the wall to hold the brackets. Alright, and here we are putting the screws into the wall, and because of these keyhole openings... That's wanna, backwards. Sorry. We want to make sure that the screws are as straight and level as possible. make a screw how in and it can you bring me the bracket okay, so I need to go a little bit more in right mm -hmm. on the non-thread part and so it doesn't hurt you. Repeat the other side. All right, we'll come back when that one's done. Okay. Where is our manual screwdriver?
right that's pretty pretty good there And I think we decided to stain it. Is that what we did, we're going to do? Yeah, probably so. I like, kind of like the way it looks now, but we'll see what we want to do. All right, and this is really taking the, the concept one more step than we did last time. And if you, we left it with half of the bark left in and the other, unfortunately we couldn't find a piece with the whole bark. Yeah. So this ended up being kind of a hybrid and uh, we kind of like this look. But if you don't like this look, of course, you can take the bark completely off or try and find the piece with a full bark, which would have been my preference, right? Mm -hmm. All right. But this has some really beautiful character to it. So. Well, it, it's called Live Edge regardless, I think. I mean, it is. Both it is. with or without so the bark. Whether you prefer the with or without the bark. Or right. All right. Where is this? All right, friends, and this is our finished product. We're going to try it a little bit like this first and see how we like it. And if we don't like it, we might end up uh, staining it. From the Garage Wizard, Mrs. Wizard and Elpida, we hope you enjoyed this short episode of a very inexpensive and easy way to really spruce up your fireplace if it has uh, no real character, it's just the fireplace on a wall with no mantle. And if you did, we ask that to give us a thumb up. If you didn't, the thumbs down works as well, but keep in mind that a, a little kitten dies every time you use it. Share, like, subscribe, and let us know what you would like to see in our next videos. We hope you have a great week, and we are going to see you soon. Farewell, my friends.